what's up everybody i'm back for a new video today we're going to be talking about stability stability is very important not just for parkour but for movements in general it works on your balance and proprioception your ability to stick a landing and it also serves as another layer of protection for your joints especially the foot and the ankle and they are still very good exercises for your lower body strength and your core strength so make sure to add some of these exercises into your routine Balancing is a great and fun way to start off the workout. So find yourself a real or uneven surface to balance for a bit. Experiment with different points of balance. You can start off two foot, one foot, work on squatting, turning around and stuff like that. You can also use a balance pad if you have one. If you don't have a rail or anything to balance on, you can just do one-legged balances. Some difficult challenges include tiptoeing as high as possible, lifting your legs and making a big circle, and also rotating your head while doing this. Alright, if you haven't realized, we're going to be doing a lot of one-legged exercises because on two foot, you're on a very stable base because you have a wide surface area. Once you remove one foot, your surface area is only limited to the base of your foot. So your foot is going to be doing a lot of work to keep yourself in balance. First one, the king of all one-legged exercises, the pistol and the shrimp squat. Both of these exercises work on your control on a single leg squatting depth. So that works on your one-legged power and absorption strength. Feel free to make the exercises harder or easier according to your level. Now, the second exercise, single leg jumps and landings. I feel like this exercise is the most applicable to parkour because it works on strides and your one-legged sticking strength. So there's many variations in this. You can start off with two foot and jump as far as possible, jump off one leg and landing on the other, or hopping and landing on the same leg. You can try forwards, sideways, don't forget to train up and down as well. And if you find it too easy, you can always increase the distance or the height, but make sure you're focusing on control. You want a dead stick without any adjustments if possible. Okay, moving on. Now we're going to be doing single leg deadlifts. You just want to lean forward on one leg as far as possible while maintaining a straight back and your hamstrings. The goal is to have good form throughout the entire exercise. So if your hamstrings are not flexible enough, then you don't have to go all the way. You just have to reach the range and then come back up. Now we are touching on core stability and strength. Once you find the exercise easy, you can start adding weights like holding a dumbbell or a weight plate in front of you. Deadlifts are usually done on the barbell, so if you do have access to a barbell, try the single leg deadlifts. Even on the empty bar, it feels super hard for me. Exercise number four, we have the Bulgarian split squat. To find yourself a stool or a bench where you can prop your back leg up and try to do a squat. This Bulgarian split squat might look easy, but it works a lot on the balance. The whole point of this exercise is trying to keep as still as possible, using your stabilizer muscles to fight for the balance, and that's where you get to gain the most out of. This exercise without weight would serve as quite a challenge already, so once you start to add weight, it's going to be a lot harder. Barbell works best for me, but you can also hold dumbbells on the side if you have them. Okay, the final exercise is called the step up. This exercise is pretty much a one-legged squat onto an elevated platform. So find yourself an obstacle that is of a challenging height. Try to stand up as tall as possible. And on the way down, you want to try to control it. Once that's too easy, you can choose to increase the height or do it with weights. If you add height, you're working on deeper range. If you add weight, you're working on intensity which develops power. Again, on the topic of stability, control is the most important thing. If you're finding it hard to control, especially the descent of the movement, then you should be decreasing your weight or the height. Alright, that's all the exercises I have. If you have more ideas, please leave it in the comments down below. I will definitely check it out. Stability is often overlooked in parkour. I feel that most people's ideas of stability would mean a precision stick. But you can make it so much harder once you take away one foot. Once you get really good with one-legged jumps, your two-footed jumps will become so much easier and so much more stable. Obviously, when I was younger, I didn't care so much about this. But after going through my fair share of injuries, I found out that all these exercises are super important. And this is the reason why I want to make these videos to share with all the other trusters, especially the new generations of trusters in the community. I was wondering what video format you guys prefer. The ones where I talk in front of the camera like this, or the videos where I just add captions to the exercises that I'm doing without any talking. I find me talking in front of the camera a lot more time consuming so I would think that if I were to make videos without talking I would make a lot more videos so I don't know whether this is a good thing or not please let me know in the comments below okay that's all from me I'll see you in the next video bye